Good morning friends, this is your friend Professor Iqbal here. Once again I welcome all of you to my one more episode of lecture. In this episode of lecture, we are going to discuss how to request someone in English. We can use the politest forms in order to request someone and can be very effective in our request. Let us see which are the different ways in which we can request people being very formal. Now we can use modal verbs particularly and some other constructions to request people. We can uh, use will to request someone. Will is a formal way of requesting someone. For example, will you help me? Will you shut the door? Will you close the window? Will you lend the money? Will you ask her to answer? Now we have just seen how to use will in order to request someone. Now we will go one step ahead and we will see how to use would to request someone. As compared to will, would is really very formal and when you use would, you are you know keeping the image of the per person. When you are using will, you are keeping the image of the person. Generally we use will to request the people who are of our age. For example, our classmates, our schoolmates, our peers and the people who belong to our same age group. Now if we want to request someone who are elder to us, older than us, higher in position, at that time we can use wood and we can be very effective. When we use wood, we are keeping the image of a person and we generally use wood to be very polite or to appear very polite in our conversation. Now when we are talking to our elders, when we are talking to our olders, okay, or people who are older than us, elder us, our superiors or the people who are at higher post, generally we use wood in order to request them. For example, would you lend me some money? Would you serve me that? Would you close the window? Would you help me? Would you ask her to close the door? So in all these four examples, if you see, I am really very politer in my request. So in first examples, we have seen how we can request someone with the help of will. In second set of examples, we have seen how to request someone who are elder to us, older than us or superior or higher at a rank. Now, if you really want to be the politest in your request, we can use the most trusted, the most generally accepted construction of request which is with the help of would you mind construction. When you use would you mind construction, you are the politest in your request. Okay, it's the most formal usage of requesting someone and you appear very cultural, very polite in your request. You can say it is the generally accepted formal politest way of requesting someone. Let us see how we can request someone with the help of would you mind structure. For example, would you mind giving me your contact number? Would you mind giving me your contact number? Would you mind helping me in that? Would you mind passing me that ball? Would you mind telling her to speak? Would you mind lending me your scooter? Would you mind giving me some money? Would you mind giving me some money? Okay. Like this, we can use would you mind structure in order to request someone. Now, my only intention through this video is to educate you, to make you realize how we can be very effective when we are requesting someone. We can use will, would, would you mind construction to be very effective and these all three constructions are very formal ways to request someone. So dear friends, I hope by the end of this video you might have learned how to request someone and 
how to present yourself very effectively in front of others. Thank you everyone. Have a good day ahead. Thank you.